Hi there and welcome to Hyundai Power Products. My name is Adrian and today we're going to look at this HY27550 oil-free super silent compressor from Hyundai. And we're going to go through the controls and how everything works. So we've done all the assembly. There's a separate video if you want to see how that's done. And now we're going to look at the controls as I said. We'll start with the basics of plugging it in, turning it on and off. The correct procedure for that. So we have the power lead here with its protective cover and I've just got an extension lead here for convenience. So we need to make sure that it's switched off on the machine. So the machine's on off switch is this red button on the top. So red button's pushed down, the machine will not start and I can plug it in to our 13 amp outlet, an extension lead in this case. So on the underside of the tank is a water drain cock. So to open this drain cock I'm going to turn it clockwise. To close it so that no air can come out, I just turn it anti-clockwise, anti the conventional style thread. So that's just firmly closed now and no air will escape all water from that drain cock. So with the drain cock closed, the on-off switch, the red switch on the top, which is the machine's on-off switch basically, off, I'll plug it into my extension lead. Okay, so if I pull this button up now the machine will start. So I'm going to do that and you'll see how exceptionally quiet these machines are. So I can keep talking and you can hear me perfectly well. That's a, a vast difference to the traditional style compressors you would have seen in the past. And I've switched it off using the red button. Now it is important to use this red button when switching it on or switching it off. So what I'm going to do now is switch it on, everything's closed, we're not using any air, I'm going to switch it on and you'll see this dial come up to the maximum pressure. Well here we are, that's the 50 litre tank full of air at 7 bar pressure. When it reached its maximum pressure it switched off on its own. Now, if I were to let some air go, we would find that it would cut back in. So perhaps I can demonstrate that. So purely for demonstration, I've got a little air gun here and I'll fit the air gun into the nozzle. Let me just show how to fit and remove these Euro fittings. If I pull this sleeve back on the outside, it'll pop out. And to fit them back in, just push them into place. So that's that. So I'm going to relieve air now. It'll take a few seconds or so and then you will hear the machine cut back in. So as you saw, when pressure dropped below the level, it cut back in and will refill the tank. So it looks after itself basically and we'll try and keep that pressure at seven bar in the tank. So let's move on to the pressure regulator. So this area here is the pressure regulator. And what you can do is regulate the outlet pressure to less than the pressure in the tank. So we have this black knob here, which lifts up, just pulls up, on the top of the regulator and by unscrewing it or turning it anti-clockwise we can reduce the outlet pressure. So I'll just plug my little gun back in again and I'll see if I can demonstrate that. So I'm going to pull the trigger now and I'm going to reduce the outlet pressure and you'll see the needle on this gauge drop lower than what's actually in the tank. So I've dropped that to approximately two bar now. So I've got two bar outlet pressure, whereas I've still got over six bar in the tank. So if you've got a less demand or an application that requires a specific pressure, less than seven bar, you can regulate it down on this regulator. So equally to bring the pressure back up, you just turn it clockwise and it'll bring it back up to the level of whatever's in the main tank at the time. So you'll see this clear plastic item here and this is the automatic water drain. So there's a little spring-loaded plunger in the bottom and when the air drops below a certain level, probably around half bar, the spring will overcome the air pressure and it will lift up this little valve. I'll just demonstrate. And what will happen, air will come out of here when it's running out and it will also remove any water that's collected, collected in this little plastic 
uh, container here. So it's pretty much automatic and you may find when you first start up the machine, if there's water in here, the air as it starts to build up will blow the water out of this little drain valve here. So it's pretty much auto draining. Well here we are, I think we've covered the basic controls of the machine. Well I do hope you found this demonstration useful. For more information on this or any of our other products, visit www.hyundaipowerproducts.co.uk. I've been Adrian and thank you for watching.